Hi friends, thanks for joining the Fond du Lac Public Library for another drawing lesson. Today I want to show you how to draw an adorable furry little koala. Okay friends, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and you want your paper to go horizontal or the long way. Then grab something to draw with, your pen or your pencil or your crayon. I'm going to use my marker today and I do have some other markers set aside for when I want to add detail later. All right, we are going to be drawing a koala and our koala is going to hug a tree. So we're going to start by drawing part of the tree. Find the middle of your paper and we're going to draw a line going up for part of the tree. And my line's not going to go all the way up. I'm going to start in the middle and go up right about there. Good. So this is going to be part of the tree. <clears throat> and then we'll draw the koala next to it. We'll start by drawing the koala's head. Now, they have kind of triangle-shaped heads where it's bigger on the bottom and a little bit smaller on the top. And remember, part of your head is going to be hiding behind the tree. So I'm going to make the bottom of my head and then I'm going to kind of round the corner and go up. Like that. It almost looks like a gumdrop shape. And then the rest is hiding behind the tree, so I don't have to draw that part. But do you see how the bottom of the head is bigger than the top of the head? All right, now we're going to draw the koala's face. So we're going to make two circles for the eyes. I'll draw one on this side. And we'll draw one on this side. And if it gets hidden by the tree a little bit, that's okay too. And then draw a smaller circle in the corner of your eye. And we'll leave that small circle white and we'll color in the rest. Good. We can add some eyebrows on top of your koala's eyes too. Just some rounded lines. All right, and now we'll draw a koala's little nose. And the nose is kind of triangle shaped too, like the head, with the smaller part on the top and the bigger part on the bottom. And I want my nose to be right in the middle of the eyes. And then you can color that in. Very good. Now find the middle of the nose and make a dot a little bit under the nose. We're going to use this to help us draw the mouth. We're going to draw a long U shape on both sides and then we'll connect them with one U shape. There. So the top looks like a stretched out W and the bottom looks like a stretched out U. Nice. Now we're going to draw Koala's fuzzy ears. And he's got some big ears. So we're going to draw this side first and it's going to be like the letter C, except we want to make the ears fuzzy, so it looks like he has lots of hair. So watch how I do that. I'm going to start a little bit above the eyebrow, and I'm going to start like I'm making a big letter C. And then I'm going to stop and go in a little bit. Then I'm going to go again, stop, and go in, stop and go in, there. 
It looks like the letter C, but it looks like it's very furry. And we're going to make the inside just like this line, except smaller. There. And now this side of the ear is hidden by the tree. So we're just going to make a little rainbow shape. And then the rest is behind that tree. So we have our koala head. Now we'll draw a koala's body. So at the end of that tree line, I'm going to extend it a little bit. And then I'm going to draw a backwards letter C, like it's stretched out. This will be koala's arm. So watch how I do this. It kind of looks like the letter C, but only backwards, right? And like someone squished it. That's going to be the arm that's hugging the tree. And then at the end of the arm, we're going to draw some little lines for the koala's fingernails. They have sharp nails. Good. And remember this line we drew for the tree earlier? Well, we're going to make that line a little longer. So I'm going to retrace that, lift my marker up so I don't draw on the arm, and then I'm going to draw a little bit more down. So it looks like the same line. And then down here, I'm going to draw Koala's leg. And kind of the same way I drew the arm. Like a flattened, squished, backwards C. Nice. And then I'll add some lines here for the nails. And then we need to draw Koala's back. And to do that, I want to go a little bit lower than the bottom of the ear here. I made a little dot and I'm going con to connect that dot with the leg. I'll go out a little bit and round it and then connect it. Great. And then I'm going to draw Koala's little tail and I'm going to do a, the same line I did for his furry ear, but I'm going to make it really small. There, now we have his tail. And we'll draw a koala's belly here. <clears throat> we'll connect the arm and the leg with a little letter C. And that's koala's belly. And then we'll finish drawing the tree. So we're going to follow that tree line and this time make it go all the way down. Good job. And now I'm going to add some detail to my tree. I'll draw a letter V up here so that this looks like part of the branch. And then I'm going to make another line, maybe another V. You see that V? And now I'm going to draw the other side of the tree. So I want it to go down, not too far apart, maybe, <clears throat> maybe a finger or two apart because the koala's other arm and other leg are going to be on the other side. So we'll draw this line down and stop right before we get to the arm. Good. And I'm going to draw a little letter C at the bottom of that line here, just like that. And then I'm going to take the bottom of that C and I'm going to curl it around the tree like a circle. Now it looks like Koala's other arm is hugging the tree. And we'll add some lines for the nails. And we're going to do the same thing down here with Koala's other foot. So I'm going to follow that tree line down and stop right before I get to the foot. See, I have a little gap. And I'm going to draw another letter C and then curl it around. 
like a circle. And I'll draw my nails. And then we can finish drawing our tree. So maybe, maybe you want your tree to go all the way down. Or maybe you want another branch and you'll make another V. This is a big V. And trees are all a little different. So you can draw them any way you want. Sometimes trees have Y branches. Sometimes trees just stop. And sometimes trees have little branches like that coming out. But the bottom of the tree is always the biggest part. So the bottom should be bigger than the top or the branches. That looks great. And then at the end of your branches, you could draw some flowers if you want. Like maybe make a circle and then have oval shapes coming out of the circle if you wanted to make flowers. You could draw leaves. Maybe you have the spiky leaves like that. Or maybe you have these kind of leaves where it's almost an oval except the ends are pointed. I'll show you. An oval is like a stretched out circle. But to make a leaf, you want the ends to be pointy. There. 